The fear that we'll never be good enough paralyzes us. Not only does it cause us to think that our goals are unattainable, but it immobilizes us from taking that first step. Good enough is an unreachable goal because there's always something to be better at. It's an unreachable, unspecific, nebulous cloud that hangs over us and changes shape based on whatever high standard we're comparing ourselves to. It causes us to focus on what we don't have instead of what we do. And that cloud is always going to hang over us as long as there's always something we can be better at. But there's hope. The fact that you're not at where you want to be right now shows that you want to improve. And that's a good thing. So instead of an uncertain future, set a specific goal. Not a goal like, I want to be in shape. Instead, I want to be able to run a seven minute mile by the summertime. Not something vague like, I want to be a better piano player, but something specific like, I want to be able to play the entertainer by a month from now. So why is a goal so important? Well, in a race, you need to know where the finish line is or you'll give up from aimlessly running. But once you have that goal, you can start strategizing systems in order to get there. For instance, I want to run a mile three times a week, or I want to practice the piano a half an hour a day. Now here's the best part. Once you start putting those systems in action, you'll find out that the joy of doing what you love is greater than the fear of never reaching the goal. Just knowing that you're currently doing what you enjoy is enough to make you happy, not the goal itself. And if you delay your satisfaction to when you reach that goal, then you're not going to be as happy in the meantime and you might give up on the goal itself. So you find out that what really makes you happy is to live right now as the person you were always meant to be. James Clear said, I found that goals are good for planning your progress and that systems are good for actually making progress. So let's put this in action. First, what do you think you're not good enough at? Where do you want to improve? Next, where do you want to see yourself a month from now or a year from now or five years from now? And last, what processes, what systems are you going to put in place in order to get there? Once you start putting these things in action and actually start doing what you enjoy consistently, you'll find out that the fear of not being good enough will start to disappear.